Hi, I'm Denise Capriati. Um, about five years ago, I encountered this noise in my ear, and I was told that I had tinnitus, and it was a condition that would never go away. And um, I frantically searched um, for help, and I found the American Tinnitus Association and sent for all the information I could possibly uh, get and to learn more about the condition. And then I realized that um, there were millions of people afflicted with this, especially our veterans, you know, and soldiers coming back from the war. And I realized that this was just something that had to, you know, to be addressed um, and researched and to do whatever I could to help others. I'm Jennifer Capriati, and I'm the daughter of someone who suffers from tinnitus, um, my mother. Um, she's had it, it started about five years ago, and, um, you know, I had, um, I had no idea what it was and, and what she was talking about, um, and she had just gone through the surgery, and we, we both had been going through surgery at the time, but, you know, I... She came to me and she said, you know, I have this this noise in my ear and, you know, I could see the kind of the panic in her face and kind of the worry. And, you know, as myself, I just said, you know, oh, it's going to go away. It's nothing, you know, it'll it'll be gone. It's just it's just something temporary. You know, when I first told everyone that I had tinnitus and no one really knew what it was, no one in my family really understood it and all my friends you know, no one, I was like, can you hear it? Can't you hear this? And nobody really could relate. So that's why I reached out to people, like I got online and, and different groups and organizations so I could talk to people who had it, who could understand. You know, my mom has always been, you know, the life of the party and just so enjoyable and just so happy. And no matter what obstacles, you know, she's faced in her life and we've faced as a family. and. And I could see, you know, this was something different, and it, it was distraught for her, and and um, and I've never seen that side of her before. I think people get fearful. You know, I had a lot of fear, and um, and that's something that does control you. So, you know, just keep just keep uh, being hopeful and reaching out to people. There has to be a cure for this condition. I can't see my mother suffer like this for the rest of her life. With your help, we can all band our voices together to help the American Tinnitus Association fulfill its mission. I know that many of you out there have loved ones who suffer from tinnitus too, and this is the perfect opportunity to join the fight for a cure. To learn more about tinnitus for yourself or a loved one, please visit the American Tinnitus Association at www.ata.org.